Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And today I'm going to share my top tips for how to be a smoother rider. And when I say smoother, I'm talking about Leslie Phillips playing James Bond, singing a medley of Barry White hits, That Smooth, or Slick as Snot, as John Crichton would put it. So we've got a mix of classroom and practical stuff to do today, so let's get on with it. First step to smoother riding is to remove your front brake lever. This means if you can't brake using the front brake, you need to anticipate what's going on more and adjust your speed accordingly. Don't remove the rear brake lever as well, that'd just be stupid. Now go out for the fun bit of riding along a twisty road you know. The reason I say when you know is because you know where the corners are, you know what sort of speed you can go around the map, but without a front brake you've got to anticipate the corners more and use the throttle to accelerate and slow down. Yes you've still got a rear brake but as you know it's not as effective as a front brake unless you've got a Himalayan in which case it is quite powerful. Now you've got smoother through planning your speed, the next one is tie your ankles to the bike so you can't put your feet down. If you can't put your feet down, you can't stop, so you're going to need to anticipate more. When doing this though, it's important to use a bungee or a matabubu because you need to be able to move your feet forwards and backwards so you can change gear and use the rear brake. Of course, you don't have a front brake. Point number four, go for a ride through a town. With your legs tied to the bike, you're not going to be able to put your feet down, so you're going to be able to look further ahead, plan your riding, leave plenty of space between you and the vehicle in front so you've got somewhere to ride into uh, if it slows, and uh, you can go for miles without putting your feet down. When you've tied your feet to the bike, the second most important thing you're going to need is a couple of launchers to steady the bike while you get up to speed. And of course, the most important thing is, when you've got a couple of launchers, make sure they double up as catchers and don't get distracted by football. What time did David see me back today? I don't know. I'll get the first aid kit. And finally, tip five. Don't do one and three. That's silly. Use your imagination. Pretend you're riding without a brake lever or your feet tied to the bike, just get some practicing it, looking ahead and making your ride a lot smoother. Actually, to avoid any sort of circular arguments, we'll make this point number six. Well, that should have given you something to think about and use your imagination on. Imagine no front brake lever and your feet are tied to the bike. You'll be looking further ahead, you'll be lifting your eyes, you'll be planning your acceleration and deceleration better, and you'll be a lot smoother rider without the expense of either taking bits off your bike or tying bits of yourself to the bike. Give it a go, see how you get on, don't do any of these things for real, and enjoy the riding and becoming smoother. And finally, a big thank you to Carl Conlon, who featured in the Blind Spot Checking film, and also his daughter Bryony for their assistance in making this.